back you guys and today I'll be showing you how to FTP large games file over to your PS3 internal hard drive or external hard drive using the Rebug Toolbox or Multiman. So let's go ahead and bring up our PS3 right now. And guys you should have Rebug Toolbox installed if you're on Rebug Custom Firmware. If you're not on Rebug Custom Firmware you can use Multiman. So I'll be showing you these two methods using Rebug Toolbox and Multiman. So if you have Rebug Toolbox installed or you haven't installed it yet, go over to your package manager, enter that and then enter install package file and PS3 system storage, you should see your Rebug Toolbox right there. So go ahead and then install it from right there. So guys, go ahead and enter the Rebug Toolbox. Just give it a moment guys. Okay, so now we're in the Rebug Toolbox guys. Just make sure that you're on the System Information section and just go ahead and hit X. Now guys, the first, this IP address we're going to be using this IP address in the FileZilla. So go ahead and bring up your FileZilla. And all we need to do now is type the same IP address in the OSC section. Now hit quick connection and there you go guys we are now connected to the PlayStation and now we can also insert our um, storage media like your R drive or your USB stick and you can also send stuff to your, pit, to your external hard drive using this method. So there's my USB and this one right here guys that says dev underscore HDD0 that's your inst internal hard drive. This is where you can find all your games. So here's my Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. And guys, that's how you use the Rebug Toolbox. So let me go ahead and exit. And now I'll show you how to use it with Multiman. Okay, now we're back on the XMB, so go ahead and boot up Multiman. Now guys, when you're in Multiman, your Multiman should um, boot up in this section, in the game section. So just go all the way over to settings and you will see system information. So go ahead and hit that. And we're going to enter the same IP address in our FileZilla. Because it's the same IP address guys, you can just go ahead and hit this down arrow beside the quick connection and you'll see the previous IP that we typed in. And there you go, we're connected now using the Multiman method. So I'll also show you something guys. In Multiman, make sure you go down to FTP service and make sure that you enable no timeout because what, what this does is that if you, if you don't have that enabled, the PS3 will go into a timeout and then the, the FTP will come to a stop. And also, if you go all the way down, to theme audio, you can go ahead and disable this because Multiman have a, a music playing in the background and some people might find it very annoying to have that music running while they're doing FTP. 
so you can just go ahead and exit so that's how you you FTP large file over to your PS3 guys you can FTP to your to your external hard drive or you can just FTP to the to the internal hard drive of the PS3 guys so if you did find this method um, helpful guys go ahead and leave a like a share and also a subscribe guys in my next video I will show you guys how to um, FTP using an internet cable which would be 10 times faster than using a Wi-Fi um, using a Wi-Fi to do FTP so thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video